so angry. So yeah, if you have a 20 gigabyte and you want to put games on your hard drive, don't do it. It'll just because I said space. so. And oh boy, I know rant I'm going time. To a rant here. Why do you have to put stuff onto your hard drive? I mean, really now. This is a console. A con. Um, the reason they did that is because you can have easier loading times, and the fact, and the fact that some textures don't load, they'll load better now. That is such a big deal. Oh my god. So, it's to get away from installations that are the main point of PC gaming. This is a console. Oh yeah, this guy is probably one of those guys who is going to boycott Left 4 Dead 2 because Left 4 Dead 1 hasn't received a thousand updates on the computer. We don't have to download shit onto our hard drives. It's optional. It should be booting off the CD. It does. It's optional. God. What the fuck is with this generation? Are you kidding me? Overall, this is a pretty good update. But for the microtransactions for your avatars... Oh my god. The amounts of advertising space throughout the dashboard, and the fact that you're screwed over if you have a 20 gigabyte hard drive, are some minor problems. Actually, you're not screwed over if you have a 20 gigabyte hard drive, because you don't even have to install it to your hard drive. It's optional. With the new update. However, there's one other problem that I forgot to mention. And that is Microsoft hasn't delivered on everything that they promised back at E3. One th oh, please, do tell. Thing. Sharing Netflix videos with seven other people. That would be ideal for movie commentaries. But alas, Netflix doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Maybe because Netflix didn't want to do it because it probably cost a lot of money. And probably some of those viewers who are watching that on Fear Party probably didn't pay for it. Hmm. It's really hard to think about. Don't... Another thing? Xbox Live Primetime. Yeah, I know, it's just one versus 100 crap. But think about it. 100 players. That would be ideal for other games. Like shooters. Could you imagine the lag in a in Halo in a Halo Three match? Since he's talking about shooters, let's talk about the number one shooter, Halo Three. You imagine a hundred people in there? Are you insane? A hundred modems could not. Oh my! I'm not even gonna say it. In any other multiplayer game, that would be awesome. No, it wouldn't, because you know how cheap that would be. Every spawning point, there would be a guy there waiting to kill you. But alas. But alas. Play to 2009. Don't get me wrong. It's a great update. But there's these. It's a great update, but I hate it. Minor problems that I have with it. Minor problems that you specified the whole video on commentating about. It's still disappointing, but it's also great at the same time. It's like someone playing prototype. And comparing it to Infamous. Yes, actually, people are actually comparing Prototype to Infamous. I don't know why. I really don't. Maybe it's the fact that it's an open world environment and that's it. And I mean, Prototype, you could, you're could you basically a god mod, and, and in uh, Infamous, you're a guy who shoots lightning. Similarities? I just can't make up... Oh, yeah, what, what I was trying to say. I was saying that it's like someone playing Prototype. It's <laughs> in, like... You, the way you, you can jump and then hold down the X button and aim on somebody and then surf on their dead body. I didn't surf long enough, so I don't like this game. I'm going to break it. <sighs> My mind on this. So, I decided to be generous with this review and to give it a 7 out of 10. Good looks, but with minor problems. Minor problems that I once again specified the whole commentary. So, that's the review. I hope you're satisfied, and I hope me changing my opinion will stop the people bitching about my last review. The fact that he changed his opinion because he got bitched at is just stupid. So, this is Blizzbell signing off. 
Okay, I'm just gonna end it here. It's a 15 minute video. Um, I'll edit this out and I'll see you later.